excited. Uh, NBC announces, of course, they uh, they had those suits on. If you saw that race, they had those suits on. And uh, that one reporter, forget his name, he had like uh, a shirt on that looked like he had feathers on or something like that. <laughs> I'm assuming there was a flashback to the 70s. <laughs> okay. uh, NBC even sported the old uh, school NBC logo. So uh, there you go. So 18 cautions, as mentioned on sun in Sunday's uh, Bojangles 500, which in turn uh, made let the, made the race last approximately. I think it was, was I don't know if it was four and a half hours, almost four and a half hours. But Bleacher Report says, "quote uh, it was ridiculously long, ridiculously long." Well, uh, NASCAR executive vice president and chief racing development officer Steve O'Donnell says in a statement at a news conference, "quote." I look at it as where the fans where the fans entertained. When I look down, meaning from the uh, control tower at lap ten and toward the end of the race, they were on their feet. He continues saying, "I think if you were to ask most race fans here if they enjoyed four and a half hours of racing action, I think they would say yes." Okay, uh, diehard race fans, that is gold. I was watching it. I loved it. It was a Sunday night. Hopefully, everybody had Monday off, and uh, so it was, it was a real treat to get a Sunday night race, especially on the day before a Monday, and you know, on a three-day weekend. Uh, some other news: uh, Michael Walsh Racing, of course, that you know, he's they're going to uh, close it up shop. He uh, they filed a notice on the first of September with the state of North Carolina. MWR plans on laying off 217 employees from MWR's race shop in uh, Cornelius, North Carolina. September 7th, 2013, MWR driver spun on purpose, and uh, I didn't get the name of that driver, but Brian Vickers, okay, so he had a driver that spun on purpose, then Brian Vickers pits with three laps left, and this is actually team orders, okay, so he was ordered to do this, in an attempt to help a third MWR driver, Martin Truex Jr., of course now is with Furniture Row. NASCAR handed a hefty fine and also uh, removed Martin Truex Jr. from the chase field. In addition, fi they fined uh, MWR actually three hundred thousand uh, dollars, and they and in turn MWR lost a fifteen million dollar annual annually on a on the final two years of a Napa sponsorship contract. And uh, some think that. Uh, this was probably the beginning of the end for MWR. Uh, MWR uh, hasn't won a race since, uh, I think they said New Hampshire 2013. That, that's what I heard. Right. So BK Racing uh, is uh, one more. BK Racing is honoring Allison Parker this weekend. Of course, Allison Parker was the uh, the poor lady who got uh, murdered along with the cameraman on live TV back on August 26. Uh, and the cameraman was Adam Ward. Allison Parker was a graduate from James Madison University. Ron Devine, BK Racing owner, also a JMU alumni, said in a statement speaking to motorsports.com, quote, we'll be running a JMU paint scheme on the number 83 Toyota this weekend with Matt D. Benedetto behind the wheel. He continues saying, we're all part of the JMU family, uh, and, and they said, go Dukes, but we just wanted to go do something to honor Allison's memory, and we thought this would be a good tribute to her. Uh, prior to the JMU football home opener, uh, I think it was last week or week before, uh, they had actually conducted a moment of silence. Uh, Ron Devine also feels the 23, the 26, and the 83 car. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're almost done. 33 minutes and counting. We're all wrapping up. I really thought we were going to be here for a long time. <laughs> 20 pages of notes from that one race on Sunday. And I'll tell you about it. Um, okay, so I had a fresh... I always have a legal notepad. That's how I take the notes. Preparation for the racing podcast starts on race day. Legal notepad and an artillery of uh, big bullet point pens. Okay? And uh, sometimes a cup of coffee and some water. <laughs> okay. Um, and this race, I started this race with a brand new legal notepad. Brand new. You know, now legal notepad, you got the paper on it, you can feel it's nice and heavy. You get excited. It's like, yeah, I got a nice new pad. And the... By the time that race was over, I got to the point where I can feel the cardboard starting to bend. You know, you get down towards the bottom of the pad, and, you, and then, you know, it starts to get a little flimsy, right? That's how much paper I used on that race. Now, 
I only use one page, like one side of each page, and I know that's probably wasting paper, but uh, it makes it easier because sometimes during the race, I gotta go back to a previous page to fix something. So it just makes it easy to have it all on one page, you know. And makes it a lot quicker, too, because you're writing stuff down, but you also got to keep track of what's going on, because as soon as stuff happens, you got to start writing it down, especially if there's a crash or anything like that. So there's a whole process going on on Sunday. Um, but yeah, <laughs> almost a whole, almost, I'm not going to say it, it was, I would say a good three quarters of that legal note, pa that one pad was used up on Sunday. <laughs> it was fun, though. It was fun. Yes. Um... So there you go. So it all stuff, and I gotta tell you, the hardest part of doing this podcast is actually not the note taking, as far as I'm concerned. It's the dodging the Sunday bullet, and this is what I mean by the Sunday bullet. Oh, we got a barbecue on Sunday. Oh, no, I can't make it. <laughs> oh, what are you doing on Sunday? Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, hey, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese on Sunday. You come? No, I ain't going. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> So that's the Sunday bullet. Once I get the Sunday, uh, once I get Sunday cleared, boom, I'm ready to go. And that, my friends, is the hottest part of doing the racing podcast. After that, it's all fun and games. All right. So one more time for you. So again, as mentioned, the Xfinity race is going on as we speak. They're now at lap 60, uh, back to green. Uh, so we'll just, I'll just give you the schedule for Saturday. And of course, Saturday is the last of the uh, regular season. At the next week, okay, this week they're at Richmond. Next week it's Chicago, New Hampshire, Dover. Okay, so the first, uh, the line down, line up, oh, the line up for uh, the Cup, Chase Cup starts with Chicago Land, then New Hampshire, Dover, Charlotte, Kansas, Talladega, Martinsville, Texas, Phoenix, and Homestead. So uh, definitely winding down. Again, racing podcast runs all the way through November, uh, and then we'll be back in February. And then uh, I think it's going to be an annual tradition. Probably next year, I'm thinking about doing a replay of the podcast on Fridays. I know sometimes we Thursday's the big day, but sometimes stuff happens, so we push it to Friday. So Thursday's the day, Friday's the rain day. Uh, but I think on some on weekends where we don't do a Friday show replay the Thursday show on Friday night so get people a chance that miss on Thursday to catch it on Friday and of course you can listen on demand as well uh, racing podcast and uh, hashtag sports or I think you just type in racing podcast if you're on Spreaker in the search box there it, you'll be able to find it that way too and if you go to apodradio.com we set it up whatever's on just us playing so you'll hear a racing podcast mixed in with some baseball update and stuff so that's what goes on at apodradio.com but if you, if you tune into apodradio.com when we're on live you'll listen to you'll have this podcast playing live at uh, at the time that we're on alright so one more time for you this Saturday evening uh, the last NASCAR Spring Cup Series event of the 2015 regular season the last one before the Chase Weather Cup Saturday, September 12th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on NBCSN and MRN. It is the Federated Auto Parts 400, 400 laps scheduled. NASCAR Camping World Truck Series returns on Friday, September 18th for the American Ethanol E15-225 from Chicago Land Speedway, 8.30 on September 18th, Fox Sports 1 and MRN. And that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to say thank you for tuning in. I hope all is well out there. Uh, again, if you want to listen to some music, go to Live365 and uh, look for Community Radio LI. we got some rock and roll, some country, a little bit of blues, a little bit of jazz. So it's the home of the nonstop music machine at Live365.com, and that is Community Radio LI. From the American Podcasting Center in New York, I've been your host, Manny A. Be good, be safe, and this has been The Racing Podcast.